five, welcome back, Mrs. Powell here. Now for today's art activity, we are going to be exploring an artistic skill which you might not think we'd be able to do at home. It is printmaking. Now printmaking you'd normally do with a uh, printing press and um, some ink and a roller. But actually it is possible to make some beautiful prints at home. So today we are going to be making a monoprint portrait. So let me show you how it's done. So once you have printed out your picture, now of course you don't have to um, print out a picture of Harry Potter, any portrait will do. Um, if you're searching um, on the internet, just put in line drawing of whoever it may be. Now, of course, if you don't have a printer, you can still access this activity. It just means that you'll be drawing um, freehand on your printing plate. So this piece of paper is what we're gonna use as what we call a printing plate. Now, ordinarily in printmaking, you'd use ink and a roller. But with our resources that we've got um, today, we are actually gonna use oil pastels. So you can use whatever color you would like, but I'm actually just gonna make this a lovely uh, black and white portrait. So you are just going to turn over your picture and directly onto the back of it, you're gonna cover the paper with black or whatever color oil pastel. Okay, now it's probably a, quite a good idea to put some uh, paper on the table on or desk so that you don't get oil pastel all over the place. But I'm just gonna really um, ink it up well, which means not many or hardly any white gaps of paper showing. That's what you want. So take your time and make sure that you've got plenty of oil pastel on the back of your piece of paper go right to the edge here so that's why the paper is necessary okay make sure those gaps are filled okay that should do it So once you have inked up your piece of paper, you are going to get your sketchbook, a clean page on your sketchbook, and then you're gonna turn your uh, piece of paper right side up, straight on top of your sketchbook pad, okay? So you are ready to trace, make a monoprint trace. So use a fairly sharp pencil to do this, and you're going to have to uh, press on quite hard and you're just going to as the name suggests this is a trace monoprint you're just going to pressing on quite hard go over the lines that you see okay once again if you haven't got a printer and you're just doing this freehand um, the learning is to make a monoprint basically so you can draw whatever you'd like onto your uh, printing plate, the piece of paper that I've just showed you. Okay, so I'm gonna speed the process up because there's quite a lot of detail in Harry here. So I'll speed it up and show you the end result. Once you've made your tracing, you are ready to reveal your finished monoprint. So let's give this a go. There we go. I love monoprints that have these beautiful sketchy, um, sketchy feel to them and it has a quite a beautiful quality. Now don't worry if you've missed a bit and any sharp-eyed viewers there will see I've missed this bit of his um, ear. I can place it back over and, and trace that again. Um, and I think it's quite beautiful as it is, but if you would like to and you've got time, uh, remembering that wax and oil pastel resists uh, watercolor, you could actually add um, watercolor to this as it will act as a resist and that might add a nice 
dimension to your work. So I'll, I'll include a, um, a version of that on the slides as well. So here is my finished monoprint portrait. Once again, you don't have to do Harry Potter if you're not a fan. Um, and I really just love the delicate lines that you are able to achieve using this monoprint technique. I really hope that you enjoy this as much as I have. So good luck and keep drawing.